So let's quickly talk about variable scope. When you declare variables, they exist within certain areas of your code. So if I was to create a variable here called name, and let's say I assigned Aragorn as the value. That's the string for this variable. And then I've got another function here. Inside here, I can refer to this variable. So, nothing very surprising there. I guess I should put node in front of that. There we go. So, function runs, no errors. Now, if I call this function to make it run, there we go, writes out the name. If I were to declare another variable inside of here, when I run this, I get this one. Variables that are declared inside of a function are known as local variables. Variables declared outside of any and all functions are called global variables. If we were to remove this and place this command down here, so I'm going to write out name and I'm going to write out name here. So the variable name is going to be declared globally with this string then we're going to declare our function, and then we're going to say write out this variable. This is going to be Aragorn, because we're outside of this function, so we're in the global scope. There we go. So Aragorn was the first one, and then when the function x ran, the variable name locally became Gimli. It was written out that way. So let's see what happens if we run the function before and after. Okay. So Gimli, Aragorn, Gimli. Inside the function, the variable name, it's got the same name as this one, but that doesn't matter because we're declaring it in both places. But here we're declaring it and saying that it exists only inside of this function. Here we're saying that the variable is global. It exists anywhere in our code. If I had another function, let's say function y, inside of here, and I can even put this down at the bottom, it's not going to make a difference. Okay, so we're declaring Aragorn is the value of the variable name in the global version of the name. We're running the function x, which is creating a local variable called name. We're assigning this to it, and it's going to write out Gimli. Then we're going to write out the global variable name, Aragorn. And then this one's going to run. And it's going to get to this point, and it's going to say, OK, I don't have a variable called name within my scope. Inside my local scope, there is no variable name. It will then jump up to the global scope and look outside of all the functions for Aragorn. So we run this now. Gimli is the first one, Aragorn, and then the second one, Aragorn. So this is the original way that JavaScript was set up to deal with variables. They're either considered to have global scope, meaning they can be accessed from anywhere, or local scope, meaning that they exist only inside of the function where they are declared. Now, one interesting side note here is that if you leave off var, this is going to look to see, do you have a local variable named Gimli inside of here? No? Okay, nothing declared called name. I'm then going to go up and look at the global scope. Here's one. So this way, we're actually going to be reassigning 
the value. So we're changing the global Aragorn into Gimli. Same way as if I had some other variable. Like that. Another variable. Now this is the only place that I'm writing the term other, but because I haven't used the keyword var, JavaScript interpreter is going to look at this and say, it's not declared here, I'm going to go up to the global scope. In the global scope, it doesn't see it, so it's going to create it at that point. So we're not going to get an error at this point, it's just going to say, yeah, at the, at the global scope, there is a variable being created called other. So y, which runs at the very end after function x runs, Legolas. So even though it looks like we're declaring this variable only inside of this function, it's actually been declared globally because we didn't put the keyword var in front of it. And that's it. That's variable scope, global and local. Just be sure that you're always putting the word var in front of it when you are creating the variable, or you may get some unexpected results.